guys and welcome back to the farmhouse. We are just wrapping up all of our Thanksgiving leftovers and I am getting ready to make some bone broth with all of the leftover bones from our chicken. We actually did chicken for Thanksgiving and not turkey. So I'm gonna be making some bone broth with the chicken bones and the skin and anything else that I didn't pick off the chickens. So let's dive right in. So we cooked six chickens for Thanksgiving. We had a lot of people, but we also had a lot of leftovers. So I picked the chicken off the bone, froze a lot of it, and then I have all of the bones and the skins in a bowl. And I'm gonna put all of this in my roasting pan, and then I am going to fill it with water, put some apple cider vinegar in it, and roast it to make some yummy bone broth. So I am actually going to do this on our porch just because the smell can sometimes bother people. So the porch was just easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is dump all of the extra pieces from our chickens in my roasting pan. And then I am going to fill it with water until it gets to the fill line. I got this filled to the fill line. Now all I did put in this was our chicken carcasses and the skins and any leftover meat that was on the chickens, but I can also put celery and just vegetable scraps in here as well. I don't have any vegetable scraps right now, so I just did the chicken in the water. But the main secret and the secret ingredient for this is apple cider vinegar. So as I am editing this bone broth video for you, I realized that my camera cut out and I lost a whole segment of footage. So what I was saying is the secret ingredient for this bone broth is the apple cider vinegar. So I'm gonna add about two to three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar to this roasting pan. It is really going to pull all of those yummy and nutritious nutrients out of those bones to make a really great bone broth that gels. So that is my secret ingredient for making bone broth. All right, I'm gonna turn the roaster on. I'm gonna actually turn it on pretty high. And I want it to boil. Once it boils, I will lower it down to a simmer and I'm gonna simmer it for somewhere between eight and 12 hours, kind of depending on what is going on. And the broth in the roaster is done. I have moved the roaster inside just because it's closer to the sink and it's easier. So now what I'm gonna do is strain off all of the liquid and put it in storage containers. You can store broth two different ways. You can freeze it, you can pressure can it. It has to be pressure canned. Um, and there's actually a third way. If you're gonna use some, you can just put it in mason jars and put it in your fridge and it will last for about a week. I am going to strain this off and freeze it in jars or in containers. Let's just hope that I have enough containers to freeze it because I have a feeling I'm going to run out. If you do not have a big roaster like this, but you still wanna make bone broth, check out this video right here on how to make bone broth in your Instapot. And if you wanna see more from scratch recipes and how we use this bone broth, head on over to our website, www.hummingbird-acres.com. Thanks so much for hanging out with us at the farmhouse and we will talk to you soon.